Hi student, welcome to the one click agree. Today we are going to see the Carl Pearson correlation. In that we particularly see how to do the analysis of Carl Pearson correlation in Excel because many researchers student having the problem how to do the analysis in Excel so that we have created such a sheet over here so that this seed will be available for all student and researcher if anybody want this seat i will put my number in description so that you go to the description and link will be there you just click on that link and you will be uh, forwarded to the whatsapp and just message me so I'll just give the brief information about this Excel sheet over here, not the actual theory of Carl Pearson correlation because already I discussed that in my previous video. I'll put that video in I button so that you'll just click on that and uh, just learn the what is the actual definition of Carl Pearson correlation and the uh, types and nature of that correlation already i discussed in that video you just click on there and you watch that video so at the end of this video also i will take the brief information about the strength of the correlation in that we will going to see the how we consider the strength of the correlation in that first the strength is strong correlation whether it's positive or negative we can see uh, uh, there at the end of this video so that you watch this video continue otherwise you won't get the information about the strength of correlations there is three type of strength in there just the strong moderate and weak correlation so before that i'll explain all the carl pearson correlation how to do in the excel okay let's see first here we have the data input <coughs> in cell just below that i i uh, enter the variable number one you can consider that variable as a uh, for example if you consider the entomological research then we can consider the different insect over there for example we can consider the aphids okay after that we put the population here or just the observations we have the 100 observation up to 100 if any student or researcher want the more means above the 100 observation you contact me i will provide you this type of seat which is custom cust customized seat okay sorry for that just see over here we have the 100 variables and in that variable we have the 100 observation what you need to do here you just need to put the data you can just copy paste your data over here or just input that data in particular cell just put here the character name okay and don't change anything or don't uh, delete any cell or row or column you just enter your data over here okay just i considered over here the three variables for example okay just I uh, put it 10, 12, 11, 11, 12 like that values over here so that we can do the correlation. Okay. Just below that you will get the descriptive statistic of that particular data. In that you will get the variable name. Okay. In that you will get the n. n is the number of observations. Okay. Then you will get the mean, then standard deviation and standard error for the particular variable so below that you will get the carl pearson correlation coefficient matrix with significance and we consider the t table over here many student having the problem because many student doing the analysis uh, using the online softwares so in that online softwares they may be or may not be there the uh, 
asterisk signs or they are for the 1% and 5% level of significance for the correlation so they all are struggling to how to do in the excel but i am not going to uh, do that by formula because already i did this type of sheets if you want this type of sheets you just contact me okay i'll put my number in the description box so that you just message me or whatsapp so that i will provide this type of sheets to the students but keep in mind this is the paid sheets okay if anybody wants the free of cost uh you can watch my previous video i will put that video in the i button okay so we considered over here the correlation coefficient matrix with the significance table we considered over here the correlation we nominated the two star over here so it's considered as the 1% correlation okay 1% level of significance and one star considered as the 5% level of significance in agriculture we mostly used single star that is the 5% level of significance you will get this the matrix table over here for up to the 100 variables in that you will get the correlation among the variables if we consider the first variable over here and first variable here so that here is the correlation is 1 because we know correlation lies between negative 1 to positive 1 so that we consider here the positive as a 1 here is the uh, no effect on that because we consider the first variable with the first variable so there is no relationship between there right so whether it's a negative relationship or positive relationship over here you can see in this example you will get the negative relationship between correct and also here is the non-significant at the end of this video we will going to see the uh, different interpret and how to do the interpret of this output so i will uh, explain at the end of this video okay so just consider here the main problem having the student uh, put the asterisks over here so that already i put it that uh, here with the help of formula so that you just need to put the values and you will get that answer okay and another point over here in carl pearson correlation coefficient so uh, there is two things one is single tail and two tails we considered both over here if anybody wants single tail they can consider this table and if anybody want two tail then you consider this this table it's very easy just you need to put the values and you will get the answer okay let's talk about the something the correlation how to interpret okay just see here how we interpret the output of that coefficient okay first we can consider the strength of correlation in that first we can consider the strong correlation second moderate correlation and third weak correlation how we can consider this you just we can have the values for this so how we consider if there is a strong correlation then it should be between 0.7 to 1 that is r value that is correlation coefficient okay so moderate is 0 0.3 to 0.7 that is r value and weak less than 0.3 all these are the correlation coefficients so whether it's positive or negative that is the nature of correlation there is a two types of nature first is positive correlation another one is negative correlation okay so sometimes there is a no correlation also we can call it no correlation or zero correlation 
already I explained this terminologies in my previous video so that you just go to the, my previous video of correlation so that you will get that information okay another one is the significance in significance we can consider two types first is the significant already I uh, gave in our tables significance in that significant and second type is non-significant or insignificant both are same so that these are the points you consider for the interpretation of your correlation hope all information you got from this video if you like this information you just subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest video from our channel thank you so much